The jellyfish at the South Carolina Aquarium are beautiful mesmerizing creatures and they're about to be lit up even more during their holiday event, Aquarium Aglow. Here are some things you might not have known before about jellies. Hey guys, Megan Gallipo and I are in front of some very beautiful creatures here at the South Carolina Aquarium. Who are we with today? These are some of our most beautiful and kind of mysterious looking animals here at the aquarium. These are our moon jellies. Okay, what are these moon jellies? Because they, they look crazy when you're kind of coming over here. They're, yeah. they're glowing. T tell us about these. Yeah, so this is a typical, very common type of jelly that we see right here in South Carolina. Um, they can get really large, as you can see. I mean, some of these are like the size of a dinner plate, which so I think big. is really cool. And like other jellies, they're mostly made of water, so you can really see through their bodies and see a lot of their organs on the inside and they're just very unique looking. Yeah, so you can see these jellies right on our shores. Yeah, yeah. These are one of several species that are really common here in South Carolina. Okay. Um, and I know people get a little nervous when you hear about jellies in the water and getting stung, but the moon jellies, they, they do have stinging cells, but they're very mild, so they're not something to be too worried about. Okay, so if you see these while you're swimming out there in the ocean, you're probably gonna be okay. Yeah, you're probably gonna be okay, but I would avoid them and give them a little bit of space. We don't wanna try and touch them or anything. What happens if you get stung? What should we be doing? Well, it, it, it is a mild sting, like I said, but it could be uncomfortable. So what, some of the ways that you can kind of um, make yourself feel better after getting stung by a jelly is to remove some of the stinging cells from your skin. And a funny way to do that, but it works, is to take a hard surface like a credit card and just kind of scrape the cells okay. off. Um, you can even put vinegar on it. Anything that kind of neutralizes that stinging cell, that will make it feel a lot better. Very cool, very cool. And what do moon jellies eat? These guys like to eat very, very small animals that are floating in the ocean They're called zooplankton. Uh, so they'll eat all sorts of different types of zooplankton out in the wild. And here we give them similar animals. Um, we give them brine shrimp and brine shrimp eggs as well. How do they eat? Because when you look at them, you're like, how, where's their mouth? I know, they don't really have much of a mouth that you can see. Um, but these have their long stinging tentacles, which you can kind of see that kind of look like little bits of lace coming out yeah. from the inside. Those are their stinging, those are their tentacles, and they will actually grab uh, food with those. And you know, they're kind of passive. They just float, as you can see. So anything they come up against in the ocean, they'll stun it with those stinging tentacles, and then they kind of catch it and move it up to their mouth. Mm -hmm. What do you really hope um, people who come here to the South Carolina Aquarium, what do you really hope that they take away from this exhibit? Well, I think that this is a great exhibit where you can enjoy how beautiful and kind of otherworldly these animals are. You know, there's so much diversity in the ocean, so it's different types of animals than ones on land. So to be able to come up close and kind of appreciate them and learn about how different they function, I think that's a really cool thing to do at this tank. And there's a pretty cool event coming up here at the yes. aquarium that's going to feature some light up jellyfish yeah. of sorts. Tell us about that. Yeah, so we're really excited to have our uh, Aquarium Aglow. This is our third season doing it. And Aquarium Glow will be select nights in November and December. And you can come visit the aquarium at night and see all of the animals that you typically see, but a lot of really um, fun and festive light exhibits as well. So you definitely check out for all the dates online. Yeah, totally different experience yes. to being in here at night. I'm yeah. so excited for that. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah. We already kind of see some of our light yeah. up friends up there. It's yeah. gonna be awesome. All right, thank you so much, Megan. Thank you. Thank you.